Tube Nation, once again, welcome back to my Black Universe. Double feature. You know what I'm saying? Hitting you twice over the head with it. X-90 Titans by Raycon. You know what it is. Let's get up in this plastic real quick. Yeah, I'm using my nail. Yeah, it's real heavy. Now, I'm get on. Now, I'm pretty sure you've seen some review videos, some unboxing videos. Most notable, Flossy Carter. Shout out to Flossy. Shout out to New York. It is what it is. But I'm going to do a little different. Different type of consumer. I don't got all that bread to be buying different products all that day all the time. But here we are. Okay. You know what? Let's change the camera angle. Let's get in closer and make this really work. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Got documentation, got your books, got your tips. <laughs> Flat ribbon charging cable, that's dope. USB type A, I mean micro USB rather. You got the Galaxy Blue joints. I chose this color because... I didn't want the silver ones, nor did I want the black ones. I feel like the black ones would have been cliche for me. Hey, can I get it out? Hey, Ray J. Oh, I turned this on on by accident. I left the daggum ear tip. So we got this one on by accident. It's in paired mode, of course. Hadn't been used. But yeah, man, these are dope so let me let's pull these apart I mean pull these out and let you see them and the hands these are actually very tiny you can see you know what I'm saying the case set Kind of a bulky case. It's a little bulky, but you know, we'll make it work. Man, that magnet's strong. Okay. Watch me mess this up. Okay. Alright. Alright, there we go. Dang. Oh. Uh. Right there. It's charging as well. That's dope. So I got a little bit of battery. That's my coffee maker. So yeah, so we're gonna use these at work all day tomorrow. Put them through the test, bring them back, and then we'll finish the video. I'll give my verdict on them. All right, good people. So now we are at the review stage of this unboxing. Well, I decided to do both of them together because these were so dope. I I just put them to immediate use. So charged them one time. One time. On the case to see if I can make them act right. Get the case like the last time I'm doing it. Extra long charging cord. So, so you can see it. See second to the third LED. And now they're charging, charging. So, boom. All right, so let me just break it down. These are dope. These are super dope. These are super dope. I recommend buying them. But there's some things you should watch out for when you do buy them. So let me tell you some of the things I noticed that I did not like when I purchased them and when I started using them. First thing I noticed is when you're connecting them, you connect the left side. Once you connect the left side, it'll automatically pair up the right side. Pull them out. It'll, if you actually pull them out fast enough, you'll hear it say, Raycon. All right, let me see if I do it fast enough for you guys to hear it. Where's my dangling speaker at? It's up here somewhere. Hopefully you heard that. If you didn't, oh well. It'll say Raycon, and it'll say connected. Then you pull out the second one. The second one does the same thing. Raycon. 
and you hear it say connected on the left one, and then you hear it say connected on the right one, and it'll, you give it like a half second, and it'll play the same music or the same media at the same time. So that's dope. Problem I was having, and I don't know if it was particularly with this phone, or sometimes it was there'd be connectivity issues, and it was this. Uh, it sounded like a synthesizer, like somebody was trying to slow down, like somebody tried to do chopped and screwed techno. That's the best way to describe it. And it happened on a number of occasions, but it wasn't often. It was, uh, when it did happen, it would happen for 30 seconds. When if you're like trying to listen to music, 30 seconds of any song is a lot. So I noticed that. I didn't like that. <clears throat> and what I recently noticed was today was, once it gets down to the second LED of the, of the charging case, it tends not, not to want to charge both earbuds at the same time also was having connectivity issues where when I would take out the right one if I'm just listening to the left it wouldn't immediately turn on and you know uh, boot up and connect I had to do it multiple times not cool didn't like that part um, also don't necessarily like how big the case is when you try to keep it in your pocket it's a huge case but in the same time I understand if you have something that's multiple charges uh, that's um in your style and kind of concealed where you really can't see it from the side effect let me show you so we'll take the right con xt90 so if i'm looking at you like this you can't really see it if i do that it disappears and no i'm not hiding my my ears look like they just i ain't got no dang my ears i can see my ears outside the camera i guess because it's uh depth perception of my eye as well as a different session of the camera. Anyway, I still got ears, so quit tripping. So it's it's uh pretty concealed. So if I'm talking to my boss, uh, they really can't see it unless I, I turn like this. But yeah, of course with this case being the style it is, it's really hard to just keep it in your pocket and for it not to be uncomfortable. But outside that, those are really the only cons I had. The pros. Pretty concealed. I got them in blue. If I would have got them in black, they'd probably be even more concealed. Very dope. Sound quality is awesome. Uh, and let me tell you, if you're having issues with sound quality, if it's really punchy and, and, and you have a lot of mids and highs, that's because you need to change the ear tips. If you don't change the ear tips, it's going to be really, the snare is going to be real crisp and real bright, real piercing. You're not going to get any bass. You have to change the ear tips to match your ear, uh, the size of your ear canal to really get a good fit. And also to be able to get that bass. Because it does have bass. You just got to have the right ear tips. Great sound. Pretty solid battery life. I was able to charge multiple times. I literally charged it on Friday. Used it at work on Saturday. I had to do a little bit of work on Saturday. Use it Sunday. Work on, uh, I didn't work on Sunday. Didn't really use Sunday. Used it at work on Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. And it's Thursday night. So that's pretty solid performance. I didn't recharge it, left it in the car, popped it out. And uh, like I said, until I got down to like the last of the battery, then it started showing some intermittent issues that I didn't like. But, you know, for a first time out, these are pretty solid. So I, I, I think the next generation is going to be even more dope. If they fix that, these will be a win all the way around. So, yeah, great, uh, great sound quality, great battery life. You can use right ear. I, I remember seeing these on Flossie's channel. And it's like, you can't use right ear. You can. You have to connect it separately as its own device. So, you run out of battery on the left one. You put it back up. You pull the right one out. You can connect it. Or X90T. Right. Or R. For right ear. And you connect it by itself. You can do that. You just have to do it separately. So that's it, man. That's my uh, unboxing slash review of the Raycon X90T or the X90 Titans. Dope product. I suggest you buy it. If it's your first time buying that, I believe they have the uh, they have the sale going on where you can put the uh, code R RFB15. Take off 15%. Most definitely worth it. If you have never owned a pair of these and um, you've been hesitant to own a pair, I like these. Get you a pair. Till next time, peace and blessings. I